Hi everybody, I'm Mike, this is MK Outdoor Journal, and today we're going to take a look at the Cool Cracker Bushcraft Black Diamond. Stick around, maybe we'll learn something together. So I was at the 2021 Blade Show in Atlanta, and I stumbled across the Cold Cracker Bushcraft booth. For those that don't know, Cold Cracker Bushcraft is run by Dan Wolwak, who was a contestant on season three of Alone. I met Dan a while back when I went to the uh, Pathfinder School to take their basic survival course. He was one of the instructors there. And uh, I decided to stop in and say hi, and uh, I ended up picking up his Black Diamond knife. It's made from 01 tool steel with a black canvas micarta handle. It's an eighth inch thick with a 90 degree spine so that it can shave uh, kindling and, and whatnot for fire starting, but also it strikes a good spark from a ferro rod, which we'll see here in a second with a mag bar. It has a saber grind and a nice drop point, or I like this point. Um, it lets you do a lot of, of fine work, yet still retain strength for things like batoning and whatnot. Plus, the way that it's shaped it allows you to bore holes with it really well. This is designed to be a tool, okay? It costs right around 200 bucks, and it came with a leather sheath. The hardware that holds the handles on is stainless steel. Again, it's designed to be a tool. There are two schools of thought with this. One says, well, if I'm spending $200 on a knife, it better be pretty. The other is, well, if I spend $200 on a knife, it better daggone work. I want to be able to depend my life upon this thing, right? And I think that's the tack that the folks that make the knives for Cole Cracker took, is that uh, they wanted to make a good tool. And that's what this is. It ain't the prettiest knife in the world. I mean, let's be honest. It doesn't have, you know, a high polished finish. You can see grind marks on it, but I don't care about that. I want something that I can go in the woods with. I know I can use it for whatever I want to use it for, any camp chore, any anything that I have to do, whether it's building shelter, making a fire, dressing game, batoning wood, you know, anything at all. I want to make sure that my knife can do that. And this one fits the bill. Ergonomically, they did a great job shaping the handle to my hand anyhow. It fits me just about perfect. There's just enough room for my hand to get in there. The palm swell is generous. It's thick enough, but not too thick in the scales. It's right. The spine, I don't know if you can see here, it has some nicks in it because I've used it to uh, strike sparks with a uh, flint, so that chips some of it off. But I sanded it out a little bit, and it's just as good as new. It will definitely take shavings. I don't know if you can see that. Definitely take shavings off your thumbnail. So it'll definitely do that with wood, which... Let me get a piece and show you. By the way, folks, if you're watching this video on my channel, you probably ought to head on over to the Cole Cracker Bushcraft YouTube channel and check out Dan's videos. He does a lot of good bushcraft type stuff and you really don't want to miss out on that. You can learn a lot. I have. I don't know how well that's coming across on camera. It'll take fine shavings of wood off. It's sturdy. It's well constructed. It'll take the abuse that you want to give it. Let's take a minute to talk about the sheath because for that 200 bucks, you get the knife and the sheath that comes with it. It is a basic pouch style sheath with a belt loop. It's riveted on. It's sewn along the edge of the one line of stitching. I mean, it's a sheath, it holds your knife, keeps it on your belt, keeps it inside, 
So, I mean, got his logo stamped in the back. Can't complain about the sheath, um, but I mean, it's a sheath. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a quality thing. It'll last you for a while. But for those of you who don't know, I'm a leather worker and I think I can do better. So I'm gonna go ahead and in the near future, you'll see a video of me making a sheath for this with a little bit more custom features that I think are more worthy of the blade. So overall, am I happy with the Black Diamond from Cold Cracker Bushcraft? Yeah, yeah I am. I think it's well worth the price. I think that if you take this tool into the woods with you, you stand a good chance of coming back out. So I'm Mike, this is MK Outdoor Journal, and that was my look at the Black Diamond by Cold Cracker Bushcraft. If you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Every little bit helps me bring content like this to you. And as always, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together.